It's that time again. We have another Funko NFT drop and I'm really excited to rip open some packs. So let's go ahead and get this one started. What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time on this channel and just video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for each content. Today's video, I'm really excited. We got some Funko packs to rip open for the newest Funko NFT drop. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know much about this drop. It is Dungeons and Dragons. I know it's a game, I've never played it. And I believe I have two pops in my collection, the five-headed dragon, Tiamat, and then we also have my favorite, the gelatinous cube over here, which looks phenomenal, really awesome pop. There's also a new one coming out for the Wondrous Con, so I'm really looking forward to that one. It's a blue one. And there's a glow in the dark variant, which is going to be exclusive to con. So I'm going to see if I could get that. I'm not going. I was debating about going, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to make time to go. But for the most part, I will try to get some of the exclusives I do want to get for the collection. But check out this pop. Really awesome. Such great details done on it. So that's the main reason why I have it in my collection. And then also they had it in Onward, which is the Pixar film. And I love Pixar Funko Pop, so that's another reason I want to pick this one up for the collection. But it's really, really cool, and I thought I'd share with you guys. I'm surprised they didn't do a redeemable in the set for a gelatinous cube like this. It would have been awesome, but okay. So it's time to actually go ahead and take a look at this drop. So like I said, we have the Dungeons and Dragons Series 1. It did sell out, and then you guys can see over here, it is the grail of the set, which looks really cool. And then we have, as always, we have standard packs, five cards, $9.99. Premiums, 15 cards, $29.99. And then for this drop, it was 15,000 of each style. So it is actually very limited. Sold out pretty fast too. Here we have some of the cards, including the Grail. That's a really cool looking card. There's the dragon that I have a pop for. I know I have it somewhere. All right, let's take a look at the redeemables. First up, we have the Grail, 999 pieces. 0.33% chance. I'm not going to even try to say the name, but it's a cool looking piece for sure. Now let's check out the NFT. That's a really cool card. I'm going to be honest. It's really, really awesome. And like I said, I know nothing about this, but all the molds for the pop look fantastic. So next one, we have the Demogorgon, the first legendary. Limited to 1,640 pieces, 1.64% chance. Really awesome pop again. Let's check out the NFT. They did a really great job. They've been doing so much better with the cards too. Like, it makes people want to keep them, I'm sure. I definitely like them. Next one we have is this one over here, the Beast. So this one is the same count as the other Legendary as always. So I think this is probably my least favorite in the set. But it does look pretty cool. And here's the NFT. Huh, interesting. So there's like, it's like doubles, right? I don't know. I don't know anything about this. Okay, next one. This one is Owlbear, and this one's actually really cool. Another sideways box like the Pennywise from the Warner Bros. Horror. So that's a really cool looking pop. Next, and then let's check out the NFT. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of like the Cocaine Bear, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so let's check out the next one we have. Oh, it's actually the Freddy Funko as High Elf. And this is the royalty, of course. Limits 2,500, pretty low. And it's my most wanted from this set for sure. I love the Freddy Funkos. And let's check out the NFT for this one now. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. I really want this one. It's definitely a must for me. So, of course, we also want to take a look at the catalog where you can see all of the cards you need for the royalty. So, all the commons over here, 48.34% chance. I don't know much about these pops, so I don't know if any of these are still not made in pop form. But for the most part, I feel like I recognize all of these as pops. And then you can see all the redeemables for this set. And then we have the uncommons up next at a 28.19% chance. Yeah, I feel like I've seen most of these. I don't really know for sure, though. And then we have the rares at a 14% chance. Oh, these cards look really cool. It's a pretty small set, actually. How many epics are there? So, epic 7.50% chance. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is a really small set. Should be very easy to complete for the royalty. Legendaries, we already saw these. 1.64% chance. Three of them. Demogorgon, the Beast, the Splacer Beast, and then the Owlbear. And then the Grail at a 0.33% chance. 
<laughs> I don't even know how to say his name. Ace Rarack? I don't know. Then we have the one of ones. I've never pulled one. Oh, there's no token head for this one. Just uh, Freddy Funkos. Interesting. Max Token Head. That's his name. Okay, let's see the series coin. So, of course, for standards, 10% chance, premiums, 30%. I like how they made it look like a dice. I like to collect the coins. So for today's drop, my wife and I actually did pretty good. We ended up with 18 premium packs in total. And honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to rip them all open or not. I'll probably do 8 to 10 packs. And then how it goes from there, I'll decide if I want to rip them open or not. I spent a total of $555. So being a drop that I'm not really a big fan of, I do consider that a lot of money. But I love ripping open packs. And of course, I do think this is a really popular set. And the molds on these pops do look incredible. So I didn't want to miss out. And I want to take my chances, especially because I do want the Freddy royalty. And I'm pretty sure the royalty is going to cost like $125, $250. So might as well buy some packs, rip open packs, get the cards I need for the royalty, and have a chance at redeemable pops. So that's what I like to do when I want the Freddy, which I've been trying to get most of the Freddy's for NFTs. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the packs. And we have 18 packs, like I said. So here we have it, 18 packs in total. <sighs> okay, let's start it off with pack number one, 1042. That's pretty cool. We finally got some good sound and some artwork going on. All right, let's see reveal. First card is common. Next one, we have the rare Freddy. Oh, we got an epic. I, I'm pretty sure that's a pop. Uncommon. Common. Uncommon common common that's the pop we just saw a common 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 it's kind of glitching huh common 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 wow we only got like one epic in that one that was pretty bad next pack let's go Reveal! Okay, starting off with an uncommon. We got a Vecna. Then we have a common. Common. Uncommon. Rare. Common. Common. Rare. Common. Common. Uncommon. Uncommon, wow. Common, common, epic. Okay, at least we got another epic. That'll help for the Freddy. It looks like we're just getting like one epic and a bunch of commons in each pack we're ripping open right now. Reveal. Okay, we got an uncommon starting it off. Then we have a common, uncommon, Common, uncommon, common, uncommon, common, epic. We already got that one. Common, rare. That's such a cool card. Oh, we got a legendary Demogorgon. Perfect. We got our first redeemable. Then we have an uncommon. Common, uncommon. Oh, I think we got a coin. Yes, we got our first coin too. That was pretty good. Okay, let's move on to our next pack. So I kind of want to see what numbers we have here. Any cool numbers? Oh, maybe this one, seven, seven, four, five. Let's try this one. I like four, five because my birthday is April 5th. So four, five. <laughs> okay, let's see. Can we get anything good here? Reveal, common. Oh, okay, perfect. Uncommon. Epic. I don't know. Did we get that one? Uncommon. Epic. Nice. Two epics. We didn't get that one yet. Common. Uncommon. Common. Uncommon. Common. 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 Epic. We already got that one. <laughs> Epic again. Whoa. Rare. We didn't get any redeemables. Oh, we got a coin too. 
We didn't get any redeemables. We got four epics, so that was actually really good. Let's see. Let's pick another one ourselves. Um, What numbers do we have? Four, six, oh, five. We got a four and a five again. Let's go with this one. Okay. okay, come on. Let's see what we got. Okay, reveal. We got a common. Oh, please work. Okay, let's move to the next one. All right, perfect. Common. Uncommon. Common. 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 Uncommon. Common, 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 uncommon, uncommon, common, common, common. Okay, so we did five packs right now and we only got one legendary. We got a pretty good number of epics though, so that's definitely going to help us out with the royalty. But let's do five more packs now. Before we rip open another five packs, though, I just want to say thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Of course, if you are, please hit that like button. If you're new to this channel and would like to see more videos like this in the future, I love doing Funko NFT videos and unboxings for Funko. So hit that subscribe button if you like. I'd really appreciate your support. And I'm hoping to get 5,000 subscribers really soon. It would be nice. At least by the end of the year, I'll be really happy. But Mid-year would be a big shock, and I'll be really thrilled for that. So let's go ahead and rip open five more packs. <sighs> what should we do? What number? <laughs> mm. I don't know. Which one do I want? Mm, 11, 5, 4, 6. We got a 5 and a 4 in there again, so <laughs> let's go with this one. <laughs> Reveal. We got a common. Oh, please work. Oh, it's a little slow. It's working though. Uncommon. Epic. Common. Uncommon. Common. Common. Rare. Common. Common. Uncommon. Common. Rare. Common, common, oof, not too good to be honest. At least we got an epic though. Okay, let's do another one. I don't know, I, I just like picking my own packs, I guess. Okay, let's do this one. No specific reason, I just, why not? <sighs> Reveal. Okay, we got an epic. I think we already got this one a few times. Wow. Okay, we got a rare. Common, 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 uncommon, common, common, <laughs> uncommon, uncommon, common, epic. Okay, we got two epics, or was that three? We did pretty good. Let's do this one. We've only gotten one redeemable pop so far. We still have 11 packs. Reveal. Oh, we got an epic. Did we get this one yet? I don't think so. Uncommon. Common. Rare. Rare. Uncommon. 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 Common. 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 Uncommon. Common, rare, and uncommon. Oh, I think we had a coin again. Perfect. I love the coins. Okay. <sighs> I want another redeemable. Come on. Um, This one. Let's try this one. 2368. <laughs> Reveal. Uncommon. Oh, it's a little slow. There you go. Uncommon. Common, rare, common, common, uncommon, sorry, rare, 
uncommon, common, uncommon, 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 common. Oh, it's glitching. Common. Give me a grill. Oh, uncommon. Okay. I don't know. Mm, this one. This one sounds good. 10, 1, 6, 2. Wow. I think this is already our 10th pack. Common. It's a little slow here. Come on. There you go. Common. Oh. Common. Epic. Oof. Uncommon. Yeah, it's not working well. Okay. Common, 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 epic, uncommon, epic, uncommon, epic. Oh, we got a good amount of epics. Common, common, uncommon, common, common, epic. Ooh, nice. Uncommon. That's it. So we got a good amount of epics in that pack, at least. We didn't get any more redeemables, but we have eight packs remaining. Um, let's see where we're at right now. So we only have one legendary. We have all the commons. We're missing one uncommon. We're missing four rares and two epics. That's not too bad. I just wish we got another redeemable at least. But for the most part, we are not doing too bad. And we got so many epics. We got so many epics. So we have eight packs left. Uh, should we open some more? I feel like we should because we didn't complete that royalty. All right, so we have eight packs left here. Let's do pack 2443. Sounds pretty good. Let's open it up. So we've done eight packs already and only gotten one redeemable. This is pack number 11. All right, reveal. We got a common starting it off. Sorry, I got a message common. Common, uncommon, 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 common, rare, common, common, rare, rare, uncommon, uncommon, and common. Wow, not good at all. These packs are perfect for this rainy day. They're just not... I'm not getting any good luck right here. 10, 4, 30. Let's do this one. Come on. Reveal. Uncommon. Yes, we got another legendary Displacer Beast. My least favorite in the set, but at least we got one. Common. Common. Rare. Common. Common. Uncommon, epic, I got another message, sorry. Common, rare, common, common, rare, epic. Perfect finisher right there for the pact. So we have opened, we had 18 packs, we opened 12 packs, we have six left. I've only pulled two legendaries, I'm not really satisfied with that. So I actually just went through all of my inventory from the cards that I pulled from the packs we ripped open and I'm doing fairly okay even though I only pulled two redeemables out of the 12 packs we opened up. I did get a ton of duplicates and a bunch of epics which is really helpful for royalties. I was able to lock in one royalty set completed and I'm almost completed for a second one and I might possibly be able to complete a third set as well. What I did is every card I had over three of I sent to my Atomic Hub account listed those for sale and then i'll be getting wax for that i'll use the wax to buy any cards i need for a second set whatever wax i have left over i'll possibly use for a third set but i'm still missing a pretty good amount of cards for that third set if i plan to complete it and i think i really do want to try to complete three sets because i really like this freddy and i think it's worthwhile especially because i spent 555 dollars on these packs and if i could get three freddies completed that's going to be about uh, let's say roughly 150 each. That's 450. So that's a pretty good amount of my money spent being returned with three Freddies, and we got two 
legendaries as well. So I think that would be pretty even. So I think it's a win-win if I rip open some more packs. So let's do this. Let's rip open some more. See how it goes. So I actually do have these in a different account. I just want to show that to you guys because I wanted to keep my original one more organized because if I rip open these packs in the same account, it's just going to create a mess with what I just organized with the three of each card or less. So, okay, let's do this. So we have six packs here. Let's just rip open the first one. <sighs> okay. I don't know if I want to rip them all open or not, but let's just do at least maybe two more or something. Reveal. We got a common. Yes, we got our owl bear. Okay, we got a common. Epic. Common. Epic. Whoa, two epics and a legendary. Common. Rare. Common. Common. Another owl bear. Number 61, two epics, two legendaries. Wow, this was a good choice. Common, common, epic again. Common, Let's. we gotta see this. We have to check this out. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Okay, so we got a common. We got the legendary owl, which we'd never pulled yet. We got an epic, another epic. Then we pulled a legendary again for the same one, owlbear. I think that's actually the coolest legendary in the set. Another epic. And that was just really, really insane. I haven't had a double in a while, so that was awesome. And I think this is design. We just, I think we're just going to rip these all open at this point. So with that being said, I definitely think I got my money's worth with the 555 spent. We got four legendaries. I completed a royalty set. We're almost there for a second one as well. So I'd say we completed two for sure. And then we could definitely complete a third one as well. We're not too far from getting all the cards. And we're missing about half of the epic still. So I'd say the best thing to do from here is just open up the packs we have left. Because epics are like $10 to $15 each. So at this point, why not just rip our packs? Have a chance at getting epics. Because I noticed we get at least one for the most part in a premium pack and then we could also get a redeemable so let's just rip open these packs i see no loss at this point and we have a chance at getting more good stuff so let's just do it okay so we have five packs here eight seven six six is the first one we're gonna rip open <laughs> reveal we got a common rare common Common, 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 oh my god, common, common, uncommon, common, 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 I'd say that was like 10 or 11 commons in that premium pack, that was pretty bad, <laughs> okay, let's do this one. Wow, that was really bad. Okay, reveal. We got a coin. Uncommon. Epic. I've pulled that one so many times. Common. Uncommon. Rare. Common. 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 Uncommon. Epic. I think I needed that one for the third royalty. Rare. Uncommon. Uncommon. Rare. We got the Grail! Oh! That card is epic, though. Oh my god. Oh, so worth opening up these packs. We still have three packs left. Whoa. We completed the set pretty much. Open. That's insane. That was insane. Okay, reveal. Common. And I almost didn't open up these packs. Rare. Common. Rare. Uncommon. Rare. Common. At this point, I don't even care what we get. Common. Rare. Epic. Nice. I love that card. Epic again. 
uncommon, common, epic. Three epics? Four epics. Oh my god. We're definitely getting that third royalty. See, this is why I love to rip open packs. Like, you just you never know what to expect. I had one pack with a ton of commons. I had one end with a grail. Oh, we got a coin. Then we had a bunch of epics. Uncommon. Common. Epic. I think I needed that one, too. Common. Common. We hit a grail again. Holy moly. Uncommon. Common. Epic. Common. Oh, common. Common. Uncommon. Common. Common. Oh my god. One last pack left. All I could say is I'm so glad I opened these packs up. Even though I I'm going to tell you guys right now, these are all randomized. If I sold those packs, if anyone opened those, they were not going to get the same things. Rare. Common. Uncommon. Uncommon. Common. Epic. Common. Uncommon. <laughs> common. Rare. Uncommon. Common. 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 Holy moly. Check this out, guys. This was out of six packs. Two legendaries, two grails, and 75% of a royalty out of six premium packs. That's insane. That is nuts. That's This is better than my first 10 or 12 I opened up. That's just insane. I'm so glad I didn't leave these sealed. And just like that, we did finish opening up 18 premium packs. As you guys saw in the beginning, out of the 10 premium packs, I only did pull one redeemable. So I started off really bad and I was losing hope. I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep going or not. But then I saw I still need a few epics for my royalty set. So I decided let's just rip open another few packs. I opened up two more. I did get another legendary plus a few epics. And then I said, okay, let's do one more. And that next pack was really good. I got two legendaries in it. I had five packs left and I did add up everything I had. And I was pretty much at what I spent. So there was no harm in opening up the last final five packs. So glad I did though, because those five packs came up strong. They ended up really well. Those five packs were better than all the first 13 pretty much. So I did get two grails. This is what I ended up with in the end. Honestly blows my mind. So we did get three royalty sets completed. We also got four legendaries. And then we also got two grails. This is $555 spent too. And then over here you guys can see we have no extra cards. So I did keep it very organized. Then we have the two grails. One of every legendary. Plus an extra owlbear which is probably my favorite one of all the three legendaries. And I think it's just the coolest one. Looks like it's going to be nice and heavy too. Then you guys can see in the catalog over here, I have no packs left. And then once again, all the redeemables, five coins. Then we also have three of every card from Epic, Rare, Uncommon, and Common. So that's all that makes up for the royalty. So we did amazing for this drop. Honestly, I'm so happy with how it turned out. And the best part is I'm not even a big fan. I don't know anything about this, but I do like the molds on these pops. So I'm definitely thinking about redeeming at least one full set. And then the extra Grail and extra Albert, I'll probably save those for a future drop that I really want and I don't get lucky on. But I'm hoping the luck continues. And I want to share this pop with you guys once again. So I didn't share the backside with you guys. So you guys can see these three characters were in the NFT set. They actually have pops already, like I mentioned. I do think all the characters in the NFTs are in pop form already. And I don't know if any are vaulted when they released. So maybe with this new NFT set and the movie coming out, some of these will start going up in value. So if you guys are fans of Dungeons and Dragons, don't have any pops or you're looking for any of them that are already out, I'd probably pick them up because I do think that these will help the values on the older ones. Definitely this gelatinous cube is my favorite one. It's really cool. I think this is actually already around like $80, $100. 
and I assume it will probably go up in value even more with the new one coming out. So I'd recommend picking up this one for sure. Even if you don't know anything about Dungeons and Dragons like myself, it's such a cool pop. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for future content. Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of the Funko NFT set? Dungeons and Dragons. And also if you guys did pick up any packs, how'd it go? Were you guys lucky enough to get any legendaries, the grail, or even completing the royalty set, which is my personal favorite part of this drop. I love the Freddy Funkos, and I cannot wait to see what's coming out next for Funko NFTs. I personally am going to keep saying it until it comes, because I know it's going to come eventually. SpongeBob SquarePants, because they had two Nickelodeon sets. Neither set had any SpongeBob cards or any redeemables from SpongeBob, so I definitely feel like they're saving it for a whole standalone spongebob set and i cannot wait till it actually happens there's so many other nickelodeon shows that haven't had pops that i am so surprised it hasn't happened jimmy utron uh, fairly odd parents um rocket power was rocket power uh nickelodeon i think so but there's just a ton um i'd love to see of course disney pixar star wars marvel harry potter um the list goes on dreamworks movies like shrek Oh my god, Shrek. They only have Shrek, Puss, and Donkey. Imagine a Shrek set. That would be perfect. How to Train Your Dragon is another great one. But speaking of Pixar, I'd like to say one specific theme I'd like to see for Funko NFTs. I think it would be a perfect selection. It would be villains. They have not done a ton of the villains. Um, we haven't gotten a proper Randall Pop. We also haven't gotten Hopper from Bugs Life. We haven't gotten Charles Muntz from Up. We haven't gotten Chef Skinner from Ratatouille. Um, there's a lot of other ones. I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but I'm just thinking how perfect it would be to have a Pixar villain set. And then for the Freddy Funko, they could probably do like Freddy as, I don't know, they could do Freddy as Syndrome or something. That would be really cool. So let me know what you guys like to see in the future for Funko NFT drops. I just want to say thank you once again for taking time to watch this video. Let me know what you guys like to see in the next ones. Thank you all for watching and peace.